So now let's look how an array works. First, we're just going to add a box. Let's get rid of our spear. And let's now add the array. So as you can see here, we have two in the count of the array. And if we increase it, it starts filling it. Now, that's because we have clicked on fit inside. If we turn off fit inside, what will happen? Sorry, I don't know why my Apple Pencil is acting a little weird, but let's just create a little space. This is the offset in between. Let's make this larger so we have some offset. But if we click off fit inside, what will happen? Sorry, guys, I don't know. I think my Apple Pencil may be dying during this tutorial. So let's just add that. So now, as you can see, it's now made seven cubes. So the same thing applies if we turn our Y count up. So let's just hit seven. I think my Apple Pencil's dying. So as you can see, now it is seven tall and our offset on the Y is two. And the same thing happens if we uh, do our Z count. So now we have pretty much a seven by seven by seven cube. The offset on the Z axis is two, the offset on the Y axis is two, and the offset on the X axis, let's just make that two so everything is even. And there we go. Now we have sort of like a perfect cube of cubes.